Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I again am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about part two of our series, How to Defeat the Armed Citizen. Now in part one we talked about ignorance. In part two we're going to talk about distraction. And distraction actually comes in two parts. Part number one of distraction, or how do we keep the armed citizen or the citizens, how do we keep them distracted so that they're not paying attention while we're taking their rights away? Well, number one is your Hollywood filth, the vapid garbage that spewed 24 hours a day, seven days a week from Hollywood, from the sewers of Hollywood. You have your meat and honey boo-boos and your celebrity fat club or fit club or whatever, uh, rehab and weird people that eat Drano and toilet paper, the, that kind of malarkey. So and uh, you, so you've got that. You've got the vapid Hollywood trash that's just meant to, and you know, walk to the checkout of uh, Walmart or what have you. And what is on the shelves? There's 18 magazines with the same three or four Hollywood idiots who have eating disorders or who are too fat or who are divorcing their husbands or wives or whatever. It's garbage and it's a distraction. Okay, there's one distraction. Now, on the other hand, you say, well, we may have people who somehow accidentally became educated. Oh, we got the, those people. And they're not falling for the Hollywood garbage. They've turned off the TV. They don't read these trash magazines. How can we distract them? Hmm. We can distract them by putting forth causes that will, in, will distract them, such as global warming gay marriage, pro-choice, no choice, what have you. And when there's these social issues, and I say, no, those are important things, Paul. Aha. All right. How many of your conservative friends have you argued with, or your pro-American friends, or your citizen friends, how many of them have you gotten into arguments about or debates over one of the topics that I just mentioned. It just have, doesn't have to be one of those. It could be any other. And you believe in your heart of hearts that that's really important. Well, okay, fantastic. But what is more important? Is it more important for you to talk about recyclable batteries or aluminum cans or light bulbs? Or is it more important for you to pay attention and see that every day you're tax burden is increasing. Every day, the God-given rights, the rights that were enumerated in the Bill of Rights of the U.S. Constitution, every single day those are being taken away a little more and a little more. Well, how does that happen? It happens because while that's going on, you're arguing with your neighbor over gay marriage. Pro or con, I don't care. You're arguing about that. While you're having that debate, you are distracted. Get mad at me all you want. The fact of the matter is, there's a lot of distraction out going on out there. We, as conservative, gun-owning American citizens, argue amongst ourselves. We waste a lot of energy arguing amongst ourselves over things that are really not all that important. But yet we waste the energy and we, are, we fall into the distraction trap that, those set, that, that sets up. So, before you argue with someone who should be on your side. And I'm not talking about arguing with the the far left big government, you know, tax and spend type people. I'm talking about you being distracted and ending up arguing with the people that are supposed to be on your team. So before you get distracted and argue with people that are supposed to be on your team, you might want to take a moment and think, is what I'm about to talk about or what I'm about to blog about or what I'm about to Facebook about, is that really important? Or is there something else going on that I'm not supposed to be paying attention to? Because, brothers and sisters, you only have so much attention. You only have so much energy. And if you waste that energy or spend that energy focusing on really immaterial things or things that are of less import than, for instance, being taxed into the poorhouse or the fact that your federal government hasn't set a budget in four years and just spending money like they're going to print it, like it's falling off of trees. That's going on every day, but meanwhile, you're arguing with your neighbors about which type of light bulbs are better for the environment. Think about it. 
Now, what is our product for the day? Our product for the day, and as we're recording this, we're getting really close to hurricane season. We're approaching hurricane season. And every year, anybody who borders the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean, what have you, we concern ourselves with what? Hurricane preparation. You know, what would I do if I had to go 72 hours, one week without being able to go to the grocery store? How would I feed my family and myself? Well, uh, I discovered this Wise Food Products. Hold it up there for you guys. The Wise Food Products, these are dehydrated meals. And uh, I discovered them just kind of by accident about a few months ago. And what I found is I, I got some and I actually followed the directions and I cooked them up. And here's the big bonus. My kids loved them. My kids ate it up. I'm like, uh -huh, all right. How many of you guys got MREs out there and your kids are all like, oh, man, MREs are gross. They're nasty. Okay. Uh, the great thing about Wise Foods is they're, when it's dehydrated, it's relatively thin. It's lightweight. You can take 20 or 30 of these, put them in a pack, put them in a cupboard, uh, and they take up very little space and very little weight. So, and as always, because we like you guys, what are we going to do? We're going to put up a link right down there. So if you would like to check out Wise Foods, you can go directly to the link. Now, for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? Of course, you're going to go to studentofthegun.com. Thank you.